All right, you guys, so I'm so excited to create this look. So I hope you guys are ready as well. So further ado, we are gonna be starting off by grabbing some of the blue shades. But in order to do that, it doesn't matter. I just wanna be clear. Doesn't matter which palette you guys grab, just go ahead and grab any palettes that you have uh, in hand with you. And if you don't wanna be using the same colors that I'm gonna be using, you can also do some other colors as well. But other than that, I am gonna be using probably about three different palettes because they do have uh, different blue colors. So I'm just probably going to go ahead and do some mixing on the palettes, but I will be leaving the palette description somewhere around here in the, in the screen so that way you guys can see it. But other than that, we are ready to start off now because I already have my foundation set up, of course, and uh, the only thing we're gonna start doing now is start off with our eyes. So I don't wanna be talking too much because I don't want this video to be long. So. The first color that I'm going to start off is with the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette and we are going to be grabbing this blue color right here. And with a blending brush here I have the 65E Large Shading and this is from the Ferro Brush. And we're simply going to blend this all over the eye. So just go ahead and apply enough color as needed in order to create this look. So just go ahead and just keep blending and blending on this color just until you get the exact or the exact color that you guys want. So it's kind of looking like this so far. And I know it's going to be looking weird, but it's okay. We are all in here just to have fun, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and start off with this side. And by the way, you guys, we are going to be using some gems just in case. I forgot to mention that, but if you don't, if you guys don't have it, just don't use it. But this time I'm going to be adding some gems. So... So far, I hope everyone is doing well. Now that Halloween is like about, what is it, like three or more days. Uh, I hope everyone is doing well. Make sure that you guys, if you, I know there's people actually going to go trick-or-treating, but if you do, make sure that you guys stay safe and, you know, just try to maintain your uh, social distancing so that way, you know, we can all prevent from ourselves getting sick so make sure that you just guys you know stay safe out there if you are going out during halloween night so okay kind of like this now we're gonna go ahead and jump in with a different color we're gonna grab in this little shade right here and i am going to be using a different brush which is a three mini tapper blending And then with this, we're just simply going to add this right here and just continue blending. And if this is not too dark enough, just go ahead and grab yourself some more color and then continue just applying this all over the eye and just keep blending. And then I'm going to go ahead and move it to the left side and then just continue doing the same thing so up next once i'm done with this we are going to do a cut crease so make sure that you guys are ready for that now we're going to do a cut crease and i'm going to be using the hey honey trick and treat concealer which is this one in a medium shade So for this part, you just have to do is cut the crease with a flat brush and then just go ahead and try to do your best and create a good crease. So now that we have the cut crease done, I'm going to be grabbing this blue color right here. And this is from the Mood palette. And here I have another brush, which is the Tenet Concealer. 
And then we're going to go ahead and apply this before we do the cut crease. Look at how beautiful this shade is. And I actually got these uh, palette from my Ixi for this month of October and you guys I'm obsessed with the colors the colors are so pretty and they are really pigmented as you guys can see really beautiful colors so now that we already have that done we're gonna go back with the blue color that we used from the first place which was the lightest blue from the NYX palette and I'm going to start adding this right in the bottom of the eye. Then we're going to go in with the darker blue once again and we are just going to fill in this little part. Guys, I thought I was recording. So I went ahead and grabbed the Araceli chocolate pencil and what I did was, what I was trying to say, I was talking to myself. So what you want to do is just grab a pencil at first and then we're just going to create a line and then move it all the way back here. Well, let's see if I can get this even. Then we're going to go ahead and start filling this part in black. So I am using the Masterpiece Crease MLTG and we are going to grab a black shade with the Morphe palette and we're going to start filling this in. this in black already like kind of like shaded in we are gonna go ahead and grab some brown and we're just going to add these on the side so just go ahead and continue um, blending with the brush using the same color you're just going to go ahead and start applying it on your needler lips once we're through with that, we're going to be grabbing some of this NYX white eyeliner. And you're just going to start tracing where we did the black shading. So that way uh, this look does turn out really well. So once you're drawing your line, you're going to go in with a black eyeliner and start creating your nose. And once you have already done your nose, you can go ahead and fill it in with some black eyeshadow. Then next, I'm going in with a second black eyeliner, which is a, a little thinner than the first one. And then I'm all I'm doing is just drawing some lines going down wherever I wanted my cheeks to go. And you can also color in the mouth if you want. You can fill it in uh, with some glitter or a, a beautiful colorful lipstick. And also you can shade in your forehead as well. So for this part, I just wanted it something simple. So all I did was add it some more uh, details into the face and fill it in with some shade. Now I'm going in with the gem stickers that I found at the 99, 99 cent store for a dollar. And all I'm gonna do is just apply a couple of these uh, rhinestones into my face. So I'm grabbing some um, adhesive glue to help me out a little bit more so that way they can stick because they will not stick uh once you peeled it out so that was a little bit helpful so you guys can go ahead and make sure that you guys have some of your eyelashes uh glue 
that will also help out as well so all i'm doing here is just adding it to the size of my cheeks so that way i can add a couple more of the gems so once you're done with uh all your gems and apply them wherever you guys wanted it you can go ahead and add a little bit of highlight so that way you can look fabulous and once you're through with all this you can go ahead and start applying your falsies so here i'm using the Ailer london falsies lashes and this will actually finalize my look all right my friends so we have finally come up to the end of this makeup tutorial i really love how they came out loving these blue colors as well so i went ahead and applied these roses that i found at the 99 cent store they were only a dollar and i really love how it came out so i hope you guys enjoyed this halloween tutorial and if you did please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also follow me on instagram i love jasmine323 as well and if you guys haven't checked out my other previous video i'll be leaving them down below for you guys to check them out as well i did a quick shop at target for christmas so if you guys are interested to watch that up next make sure that you guys go ahead and click on the link down below and also we having more videos for you guys as well for christmas decorations if you guys are interested to watch that so once again i want to thank you so much if you made it all the way through the end of this video once again and as always i love you guys stay safe and i'll see you guys really soon bye guys